so we get a lot of questions about what our dogs eat so we thought we would have to whoa. you're gonna get sir um so we thought we would just do a video on what they eat during the day henry's just started preparing their food um and so i'm a little late to the party but he hasn't got very far yet so what we've got so far that's piggy's bowl this is piggy's bowl this is birdie's bowl and these are the their dinner their bowls. dinner ones and so what he's done so far is he's put this organic veg in which uh, <laughs> comes in this container it's biodegradable and it's super can find the ingredients <laughs> do you like your organic veggies <laughs> Um, I'm looking for the ingredients. It's hard to see through the, um, thanks. that will make it better. There we go. So this is getting awkward. So it's got organic butternut squash, organic green vegetables, including kale, cavolo nero, spring greens, cabbage, chard, spinach, as in season and fresh organic parsley. So that's what they get every day they get that in their brekkie hey we try and fill them up off their fiber in the morning because you know they got all day to let it work through their little bodies do you like your veggies we used to put um blended kale in and then we found this new company that we've been ordering from and started um using this veg mix Did I and just add water you quite like this hey it's a lot more convenient yeah than what we were doing Previously, your tail is on fire, Missy. No jumping, no jumping, no jumping. Good girl, good girl. <laughs> Look at the melted marshmallow in the background. <laughs> so they get the water because it helps them drink water. Yeah. And it makes their food tasty, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Because it's supposed to bring out the flavour. And then apple cider vinegar. Yep. We put apple cider vinegar in every morning with, with the mother. Uh, that's um, and things. that's basically just to help with like itchies and allergies and stuff. Lincoln is allergic to almost everything under the sun. He's always in the middle of a bit of a flare up. You can see his pink. Well, his chin is quite pink at the moment, but he was just rubbing it on my foot, so... I don't know if that's what it's from. So how much is Piggy getting of this? He gets roughly so two spoons. Sometimes I give him a little bit more. Right. Okay. Birdie gets about one. Birdie gets about one. Birdie doesn't really have any allergies. She's a lot easier than Mr. Pig. Hey. Yeah. So those. Then, then I go up to Piggy's food. When we got Lincoln, he was on um, a working dog kibble. And... Um, if you haven't had a look, I'll have to try and find before and after pictures of Piggy. He really, his face was such a mess. Um, and then we tried a whole bunch of different kibbles and ended up settling on raw, which we found has had the best effect for him. So Henry's going to weigh out what Lincoln is going to have. This is Lincoln. So he just gets duck. We don't rotate really with any other protein except maybe fish because we have found but that's what works best for him, hey? Yeah, yeah. We experiment sometimes. Yeah. We want to give him something else, but it's difficult at the moment. So he gets 180 grams, right? Yeah, well, they both do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Lincoln weighs about 28 <laughs> kilograms, and Bodhi weighs about 19 kilograms, and they are on <laughs> the same amount of meat every he, day. He used to be on more. Yeah, he was and on more. Birdie than used to be on less. He started, but putting on weight. We adjust. You have to adjust the food to how they are. In the yeah. Meat. And so after adjusting it, it ended up that they eat the same amount. We've been trying to put a little bit of weight on to Birdie since she had her surgery. Um, the vet said she's great as she is, but could do with an extra kilo or two. So we've been upping and upping and upping her food. And she gets a lot more snacks than Lincoln does when Lincoln's not looking. Um, but we just can't bulk you out, can we? She definitely has a higher metabolism. Yeah. Birdie's got Henry's metabolism and Lincoln's got mine. <laughs> and look, I, I put his... Uh, we do their dinner at the same time, see? Yeah, so that'll be ready to go. 
we don't put anything special in the dinner. It's just easier than in the in the evening, because this is a, has a sealable lid. Yeah. And then you can just take it out in the evening. So this container that Henry's working from has two hundred and fifty grams worth of minced duck in it. No. Oh, uh, five hundred grams. Sorry. Oh, this. Yeah, the I container. I thought you meant this. this Bird. Yeah. Bird. Yeah. Bird. Calm down. So there's 180 yes. in each meal. Yes. That's what they get. Mr. Pig, stop chewing your foot. Come on. Stop chewing your foot. Hello. Hello, big boy. They love their food. We tried Lincoln on a, a different brand of roll that we just bought from the pet store quite early on. <laughs> And it's one of the only foods we've ever seen Lincoln refuse to eat, hey? Yeah, it was very, I think it was very bad quality. Yeah, very processed. But we actually ended up having to sit on the floor and like hand feed him. And it was a mission. No, baby, you're going to wait. That's why I think some people um, think that raw isn't good. Yes. Because they get it from the pet stores. Well, at least here in the UK. I haven't seen a good quality raw in a pet store. No. What we do is we order this company. We just started trying them just because of the, um, the mix of proteins and stuff that they have available called Nature Raw. But this is a specifically for... You know, it's a raw dog food company and everything that they do is organic and sustainable farming practices and all of that. So, And then do this, because if you leave it in a clump, he'll wolf it. He'll eat the whole thing in one, <laughs> in one bite. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Mr. Pig. And then there's the lid. That's ready to go for dinner, so we don't have to worry. And that goes in the fridge. We are a little bit later than usual feeding them today because we slept in. <laughs> we both slept in today, but that's okay. There's Birdie's one. <laughs> so Birdie today, Birdie gets several different things. Wait. Birdie gets several different kinds of um, protein. Today she's having beef with organic chicken, um, which is a relief for me because she has, what, tripe with hearts or something? Sometimes, yeah. Ooh, the <laughs> smell through our house is really disgusting. Um, of course she loves it. But today, this is what she's getting. Piggy ready to roll? Mm-hmm. Oh, Mr. Pig. <laughs> See, Betty knows the routine. She's like, oh, mine's not quite ready yet. So let me see if I can show you in our fridge if Henry's got any other ones that he's pulled out for Bobo. Oh, it's right at the top, top back. So she's got a surf and turf, so beef and oily fish. One. Is that the only other one we have out for her? Yeah. Yeah. Raw is definitely our preferred method of feeding, but I'm going to show you guys something. This is our freezer over here. <laughs> That's our shelf. That's our shelf. These the are the dog's the shelves. <laughs> Every single one. So in this top one, we have bones and stuff for them, which um, I can't give to them because they keep choking on them. So we're going to make broth with those. This is Bodie's... Um, what are birdies drawers? So you can see there's tripe, heart with duck, ugh, chicken with lamb. Um, you've already seen that one. That's also birdies. And then the veggies, 
got some salmon that we have down there. And then I'm pretty sure in our fridge freezer, <laughs> we have more dog food. Yeah, so this top tiny shelf is ours. And this one is all piggies. And then this bottom one, oh my goodness. You can see that's their dried sprats, their fishies that we give them for snacks. I didn't realize we had so many. I'm going to start using them more. And these are um, whole pieces of trout. They love that as well. Yeah. So everyone was saying to me, like, during my pregnancy, have you been putting frozen meals in the freezer? I'm like, no, I don't have space. <laughs> Because it's full of dog food. <laughs> and we don't have space for another freezer either. No, we don't. So the reason we stagger their food, you might be wondering why we let Lincoln eat first and then Birdie second. The reason why we stagger it is while Birdie is eating, it's, she's nicely distracted and it's easy to get Lincoln through the kitchen and outside because that is still something that we have yeah. to think about. We put the, hit the blockade up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whilst he goes out but she's really good like she'll sit there very very patiently as she's doing now and then it'll get to a certain point and we don't know how she knows the point where she'll start getting like it's usually when i finish putting this very excited here. you're a very good girl bird you can see mr pig is loving every ounce of this food behaving so well for the camera. Oh buddy, you've been showing a lot of restraint, my baby. Oh, shit. Is she shaking? Yeah, a little bit. She's just looking down. She's trying to pretend. She's not. She's meditating. Yeah. <laughs> she looks away too. Yeah. You're a good girl, bird. You're so good. When she hears the spoon, oh. <laughs> she's very excited. Is that your dinner bell, the spoon, Bo Bo? Can you lick my finger? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, just give me my food. Give me my food. Buddy, sit. Wait. Wait. Buddy. Hey. <laughs> buddy, buddy, sit. That's the wrong command. Wait, hey. Yes. Good girl. Good job, Bobo. <laughs> She 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 sometimes gets it where I say other things like her name and then she doesn't go. I think it's just too much excitement. But she was too excited, but I, I tried to get her used to only going for the command. Yeah. So Piggy, how have you got on? He's eaten most of it. This is when he usually stops because he knows he needs to go potty. <laughs> hey, Mr. Pig, Pig. Is he still going? Yeah. <laughs> It's dinner time! Bobo's, where are you? <laughs> Bobo's! <laughs> <laughs> so these little nuggets didn't get a snack today. Just because it's been a busy day. But here's their din dins, which you saw Henry prepare earlier in the video. Right, ready, ready, ready. <laughs> ready, sit, sit, sit. Would you wait? Uh, wait. Wait. See how she has to turn away. Wait. Wait. Yes. Yes, bird. Yes. yes. <laughs> Good job. So as I was saying, they didn't get any snacks today, but typically if we do give them snacks, I'll show you what we opt for. I'm just going into the snack cupboard, but he, but he saw I was heading in that direction. So in here, I've got the little dried sprats, which you saw earlier in our freezer. So it's just little dehydrated fish. She's nearly finished. <laughs> She's chowing down. So we give them those or, um, She's a Can lot. She's a lot faster. Yeah, she's very quick. Here's Mr. Pig. Or we give them um, sardines in spring water. We always choose the ones in spring water because 
the olive oil they just don't need the extra calories and as you can see these are high in omegas they love these they would sell their mama for those um and then other things we give them as snacks is pieces of fruit so apple banana although birdie does not like banana and she's gone with apples quite badly um it's not such a big fruit no duck eggs they like as well so we try and keep everything as natural as possible the duck eggs well birdie can have normal eggs Piggy can't have chicken eggs. Piggy can only have duck eggs. Sometimes we give them to them raw. Usually we actually give them to them boiled and then we'll do like treasure hunts across the garden. So yeah, that is what these little popsicles eat in a day. The only reason they didn't have snacks today was because they ate their breakfast kind of late and then we've just come back from a walk. So, and it's kind of late as well. So. Not enough time for snacks today, hey? But he's like, I beg to differ. There's always time for snacks. Hey, thanks for watching, you guys. <laughs> oh, Peggy. And um, have a great day. Bye. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up or even share it. If you're new around here, make sure you hit subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you never miss